welcome back to Pokemon Emerald Rising Storms. Uh, in the last episode, we basically took this whole entire route, Route 113 and Route 111, to get to Fall, Ar Fall Arbor Town. Um, I do sound, do I sound a little congested? Just, just like a tiny bit. If I do, I apologize. But anyway, let's explore Fall Arbor Town. You have your Pokemon Center there. Here's your Pokemart. Have you already challenged Flannery, the leader of Lava Ridge Gym? The girl's grandfather was famous. He was one of the Elite Four in the Pokemon League at one point. Mm -hmm. That's the next gym leader that we'll be facing, but not here. Uh, let's head up. And here is the... This area, the, the uh, battle tent slash contest hall, remember? It's a contest hall in Ruby and Sapphire, but in Emerald, they turn it into a battle tent. The only contest hall is in Lily Cove City, which we're not even there yet. Yes, Scott, but I don't want to battle these trainers. Because the only reward you get from this is a Hyper Potion. That's it. A Hyper Potion. Not very interesting. Now, Fall Arbor Town is a very small town. Now, we can come in here. To this little house. Let's see what's in here. This is the Move Tutor. I forgot about this. Um, basically, what you can do here is if you trade a Heart Scale... Um, let's see. I can teach a move to a Pokemon of yours if you'd like. I'll do it for a Heart Scale. So basically, an old move that one of your Pokemon has previously learned or can learn. Um, if you train for a heart skill, he'll basically teach an old move to one of your Pokemon. But, I don't know where to get heart skills in this game. I know you can do that in Diamond and Pearl Platinum, and you can get them underground. I'm not really sure exactly where to get them. Here. Now, yeah, this crater right here, click in the middle of it, and you can find a nugget. A little interesting tidbit there. Now we can come into this house. Hello. Professor Cosmo went off to Meteor Falls on Route 114 with some people from Team Magma. Mm -hmm. Well, Team Magma led us to Fall Arbor Town, and now this lady is going to lead us to Team Magma and Professor Cosmo in Meteor Falls. So, Let's head out this way to Route 114. I'll discuss the new Pokemon in a while, but let's head in here first. My big brother's the Fossil Maniac. He's a nice guy who loves fossils. He loves digging holes, too. He dug this hole by himself. Well, thank you. Now, TM28, this is Dig. It's going to come in very handy if you want to do a side quest later on in the game. I'm the Fossil Maniac. I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. You want a fossil, but the fossils around these parts are all belong to me. None for you. He basically tells you that in the desert, you can there are two fossils that you can collect. Um, just sorry, there. Just really, really quickly, um, you can collect the root fossil or the. What is it called? The Root Fossil and the Claw Fossil in the desert. Whichever one you don't pick up, you can come back here and pick it up here. The one that you didn't get. If you got the Claw Fossil, then you can come over here and get the Root Fossil from this guy. But that's only an Emerald. It doesn't happen in Ruby Sapphire. So an Emerald, you can actually get both. So let's continue on our way. We can battle some trainers, but I don't want to. Let's come over here and talk to this guy. All my Pokemon does is roar. No one dares to come near me. If you would please take this TM away. Basically, he will give you TM05, and if you are paying attention, that is Roar. So... Yeah. Now let's run this way, and... There is an item over there, but there's a house I'm looking for. Let's be further south. Well... Since we're actually, you know, more into Route 114, <coughs> sorry, 
Uh, I guess I'll discuss the new Pokemon that you can catch here. Oh, my eyes are burning so badly. Because of stupid allergies. Anyway... New Pokemon that you can catch here. One will actually be Swab Swablu, which is available in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. It's a... Uh, it has average average stats and an average move set for a flying type Pokemon, but here's the thing, when it evolves into Altaria, um, its primary type becomes Dragon, so then it'll become a Dragon flying Pokemon. So if you're looking for still looking for a flying type, this one is partly recommended just because of the whole dragon um, primary type. Next up is Lombre, but I'm not really going to discuss this because it's just an evolution of Lotad and like I like I said about Lombre, lo, about Lotad. Not a very good Pokemon, weak stats, not recommended, and it's only available Sapphire and Emerald on this route. Now the opposite to Lombre is Nuzleaf. Nuzleaf is a little bit stronger than its counterpart, which is Lombre. But again, still not very recommended. It has some good moves. But uh, overall, not really good. Um, but Nesleaf is only available in Ruby and Emerald. I should have noticed that. Um, next up, well, there's a lot of new Pokemon. There's like three more that we have to go over. Next up is Zangoose and Surviper. They are version exclusives. Zangoose is a good physical attacker with a high with a high attack stat and is only available in Ruby. It is the only Pokemon that is only available in Ruby and no other versions. Uh, Surviper is the opposite of Zangoose, like I said, and is good on attack and special attack. And the other attackers are average. It's an okay Pokemon and it's only available in Sapphire and Emerald. Um, let's head on this way. There's a Swablu. Now, one more Pokemon that you can actually catch is Barboach. Barboach is a water ground Pokemon available in all versions. Um, basically, it has weak stats, but it gets better through evolution. When it evolves, it gets a little bit better, but it's still not very recommended. It's okay. I think you can only catch it by fishing. And those are all the new Pokemon. There, just a, there was a lot of new Pokemon here. Now, let's enter this house. This is a very cluttered house. Lanette is basically the opposite of Bill in this generation. After you talk to her, she will basically... Um... It'll basically change from someone's PC to Lanette's PC. Now, I believe we can go behind this house. Yes, I'm correct. And we can pick up some berries over here. Two person berries. These are some new berries that we haven't picked before. So I'll just pick, you know, this one and the next one. Continue. This rock looks suspicious. Why are all the rocks that look suspicious? There's nothing on them. Okay, let's continue on our way here. Ooh, look, we can use Rock Smash over here, and let's see what we can do over this way. Ooh, an item. A uh, protein. Came all this way for a protein. Let's see here. I know there's some hidden items somewhere around here. There's a secret base if you want to make one over there. And there's a lot of traders here. So let's continue. Let's do a double battle here.
back from that battle. Let's continue on our way. You can use Rock Smash over here to make a secret base over there. Can we skip this person? Yes, we can. And... Hold on, let's check this rock. Nothing there at all. And now we can head into Meteor Falls.